This is episode three of Bell Peppers and Beef, a Cowboy Bebop podcast. I'm Paul. Justin. And Dave. All right, so this week we're talking about session three, Honky Tonk Women. Uh, Justin, do you have a breakdown of the plot? Because you're so good at this. Yeah, they go to a casino in space. And um, apparently there's this chip that has a chip in it. Yeah, so a casino chip with a microchip in it. Yeah, yeah, that is apparently worth a bajillion wulongs or whatever. So much money. And supposedly this woman named Faye, who's apparently running this poker table, um, is supposed to get a hold of this chip. And because Spike's being all like, I'm going to keep this chip and walks away with it. She's all like, no, you were supposed to give that to me. Okay, why does she need to get it? Because money reasons or business. She needs to eliminate her debts. Yeah, yeah I think that's she usually needs to the case. do that. Blah. Okay, so uh, Justin and Dave, this is for both of you. Mm-hmm. Um, arc significance. Like, is there anything in this that, that is significant to the overall story? Um, Faye's case, yes. Because it is a new character and you get to learn about her and she is kind of important to the overarching plot in a way. Because she'll end up joining soon. Nah, I pretty much say so. Within the sort of plot with Spike and Jet as it sits, it's kind of just another job. So it's not super important on everything. But eh, on the whole, it's mostly kind of to introduce Faye and the particular things that are going to be happening from there. It kind of starts off their relationship poorly. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, by trying to murder each other. Yeah. Okay, so I took some notes, as I always do, Bleh. for every episode. Uh, my first note is, I think, about 30 seconds into the episode, so we know we have a winner. Oh, does it have to do with the, her clothing? No, we'll oh. get to that later. Okay. Duly noted. No, no, that's not the first 30 seconds. Although there are going to be a lot of notes about uh, how people are dressed in this show. Um, I just have a feeling. Um, no. My first note uh, is actually about uh, Spike. And it's again in the first 30 seconds, he swallows his cigarette. Yeah. Yeah. Why Why are you okay with that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Spike. That's not an excuse. <laughs> anyway. It makes me think of uh, um, Snake from Metal Gear Solid, because that's how he managed to smuggle a cigarette onto um, Shadow Moses Island. Yeah, the spark would the stomach, old game. I guess, kind of cough it back out to actually have it in his inventory. You so, know, the wonderful skills to have as a secret operative soldier. Okay, so one of them is a, like, special ops military dude. Sure. The other is some idiot who's a bounty hunter. It's uh, not just some idiot. You don't know Spike yet. Fair yeah, enough. that's definitely You get true. to learn a bit more about Spike soon enough. But, fair enough. But at this point in the series, he is some idiot who really sucks at being a bounty hunter. Well, <laughs> sucks within the sense of doesn't really care. Have you seen him fight before? Yeah, I, 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 I get that. But he, in two episodes, he has not yet managed to get a bounty. Nah, I guess oh, yeah, that's he's true. He's not really good at doing his job right. <laughs> yeah, that's he definitely. sucks at his job. <laughs> yeah, I mean, granted. He will succeed at some point. I would hope so. Yeah, he will. Yeah. He will. Give it time. He will succeed at something. Okay, so my second note is right after he swallows the poker chip, and uh, my note just says, why does he swallow everything? Because <laughs> apparently that's how he stores things. He's like, you can't have it. <laughs> stomach. Uh, oh yeah, and then at some point, uh, mustn't be long after that, uh, Jet just calls him an idiot. And I just wrote, thank you, Jet. <laughs> <laughs> he usually is the voice of reason in most episodes. Yep. Yes, and he is amazing. <laughs> uh, I also have a note that says, I love Big Shot, which is just a great uh, concept for introducing uh, plots for the episode. Hmm? Yeah, basically. Uh, we learn that Faye's bounty is worth six million wulongs, and I will never use to say the word wulong, because that's just weird to me. Uh, we learned that there is the microchip in this poker chip, which is weird to say, uh, that has some decryption nonsense. Mm. Yep. That doesn't really make sense, but whatever. 
Nah, decent way to hide some certain things for those shadow corporations that need money. No, no, like, I, the idea of hiding a microchip in a poker chip is actually pretty cool. Like, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I don't like this whole, this one program can decrypt everything. Because ah. it's, I don't like it. But, I can move past it. Yeah. Uh, my last note, actually, is spacesuits are awesome. Man, because yeah. Spike's spacesuit is pretty freaking cool. Oh, yeah. Man. At the end of that episode, when they're doing their <laughs> negotiations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is just attempted murder. Yeah, basically. Yeah. That's how I always negotiate. <laughs> With a shotgun. Anyway. In space. In space. Uh, anyway, anything else you want to add, Justin? Not really. Unless we want to discuss face clothing. Oh, God. Okay, no, but we might have to another uh, time. Because... I know. She'll show up time and time again, and we'll probably forget about it then. Yeah. Well, I didn't take any specific notes on it in this episode, but we're gonna... That's gonna be an issue later. Mm. I can tell already. Mm. Maybe. I don't know how it stays on. It just does. I Does she just have, like, double-sided tape or something? Sure. It would not be <laughs> too surprising. I don't, know, I don't know how people can cosplay as her. Anyway, it's moving right along. <laughs> David, do you have anything else to add? No, not as it is. Okay. So, what did you think of this episode, Justin, out of ten? Not that you're going to give it a number. I'm not going to give it a number. Because you're an asshole. You are going to give it a number. I will. What are you going to give it? A... Good out of ten? A good out of ten from Justin. <laughs> David? And, of course, you know my stance with not really wanting to give numbers. <sighs> hey, it makes it easier for people to sort of hear that this episode was definitely a decent romp for the action and the introduction of Faye, which, first showing her off, shows her to be an interesting sort of character in those sorts of respects. So, as it sits, it's definitely a really good episode for me. So, really good from Dave. Hmm. Okay. Um... So far, this is my favorite episode. Hmm. So far? Right. So far. Now, granted, we're only three episodes in, and I know it's early because there's like 26 or something. Uh, I'm going to give this probably, I'm going to say a 7.5 out of 10. Hmm. I quite enjoyed it. It does have some really nice animation hmm. and a pretty decent story. Hmm. Now, at least they're introducing a new character here that isn't a dog <laughs> and an actual human being. Okay, hmm. fair. Hmm. I actually, I like this episode quite a bit. So yeah, 7.5 out of 10 for me. Wow, right. I still don't think it should have taken 25 minutes to adopt a dog, but <laughs> passing that by. No. Um, Alrighty. So Justin, do you have anything else to add? Uh, keep watching the series. <laughs> well, that's one opinion. David? Yeah, I think as it is, I think we're good for finishing things up here. Alrighty, so I'm Paul. Justin. And Dave. See, I got my name right. I hate you, Justin. <laughs> <laughs>